Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this heat wave Brent Time Thor News fundraiser. And I'm working hard for the money today, as I always do, pretty much. And I am here talking to you again about the weather because it is super duper weird. We're definitely on Asteroid Fight Club. High alert. What am I talking about? I'm talking about, remember, in the last video where I said they raised this to 10%. Well, they've now dropped it to zero. But look at this system here. Now, when they dropped it to zero, boom, they raised this one over here to 20%. Zero in the next 48 hours. And so, 20% in the next five days. So that's pretty weird. I can't remember the last time I saw them put one on the board in the same day, take it off the board in the same day, and then put a whole different one on the board in the same day. Especially going from Gulf to Atlantic. Uh, you, I mean, they might have done that when storms were rolling off here. But I can't recall a time they did that over here. So like I said in the video before, that yeah, this, this whole situation looks pretty weird. This whole situation we're watching, as it popped out, look at that. I mean, that is water vapor. So there's some crazy shit going on. And this is the thing we are watching now. See how it's already kind of turning? And I'm not saying it's going to be a tropical storm. I'm not saying it's going to be a hurricane. What I am saying is that there's a chance some crazy shit could happen. As I talked about the Russian roulette last time, 20% is kind of like if you have a six-shooter. Wait, am I going to get my percentage wrong? A five-barrel gun, and you got one barrel, one bullet in one barrel, and you spin around. Play Russian roulette. Like you like yeah, your odds of not blowing your head off are low, but it's still not a chance you want to take. So I'm just here telling people, like I told you in the video before, like I watch this shit all the time. Sometimes it's like my girlfriend, and you just stare at her constantly, and you can't look away because she's so magnificent and beautiful and mysterious. Wait, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. The wetness that is happening over here. But yeah, it's it's popping up, man. You know, I went to pull uh, some w more weather videos. <laughs> and like the Agung volcano's gone off. It went off Friday. Tuesday, the Galapagos Islands erupted again. Um, there was a third volcano. I can't remember. So we got a lot of volcanic activity. And knowing that we have volcanoes here, the Galapagos Islands are around here. And then Hawaii and Alaska's volcano. It's a good time to be watching weather. And look at these rain bands. I don't usually get creeped out by rain bands. I am the rain man of rain bands. Just there's something about this whole thing that seems pretty weird. And remember, this the system is retrograding, which we don't usually see. And then here was the kicker. Watch. Notice how it's already kind of churning and burning. And I'm not saying it's going to be a hurricane. I'm not saying it's going to be a tropical storm. I'm just saying shit is weird, man. And so, yeah, you know, everybody keeps talking about how the Colorado Institute just lowered their hurricane prediction for the year again to a below average hurricane season due to cooler Atlantic temperatures. And I said, well, how many landfalling hurricanes have they predicted? And they're like, well, they don't predict those. I'm like, yeah, well, then what good is a hurricane prediction? Like if it's if you could have thirty fish storms that like turn to cat five and go nowhere, what's that matter? You know? The only stat that matters really is they're gonna hit land and kill people and animals and destroy infrastructure. That's why I was planning to hear a defense commander. I know I got blocked by the volcano scientist that did the video on last night. Cause she was saying, No, volcano activity is normal. It is consistent with what it always is. I'm like, that doesn't even make any sense. And I was being polite, and she just up and blocked me. She was like, you're lying to people, telling them that volcano activity is high. And I'm like, ma'am, you know, I don't know how, how much people trust science these days, because, I mean, it's like, if I can say. I mean, last year, before hurricane season, I predicted that the United States of America would get hit by two or more hurricanes, and that happened. When Hawaii got 50 inches of rain... I said, that volcano's about to blow. And guess what? That volcano blowed. And so, I respect scientists and stuff, but it's like, 
okay, you know, what have you, what have you done with your volcano research, ma'am? Other than tell people that this is the total average, this is totally normal. Even though it's, you got volcanoes here killing people, you got volcano in Hawaii that has destroyed neighborhoods and highways and continues to put out tons of lava and create lava boats. Um, the Galapagos Islands one, you know, they had to evacuate people. So I can't remember a year where you had so many people either dying or evacuated or destroying infrastructure. I think the Agung one also closed three airports. So it's like, what is your stat? You know? And so saying as your planetary defense commander, who's trying to save lives, keep people aware of how weird shit is and give you guys a reason why we all must come together as one American family to reach these earth weather changes. You know, it's just weird where I know that even the meteorologists talk about it. a lot of guys who just talk about climate and carbon. How many storms do they predict? How many calls do they make? None. They're talking about shit that's going to happen 100 years from now, 50 years from now. So, you know, I combined solar science, weather science, volcano science, and the main place is trying to figure out how to mitigate damage in the future and which places might be safe to live and who might get hurt or hit next. So, you know, I mean, so I've been kind of frustrated because nobody seems to be paying attention, even though the weather's just getting crazier, man. So I'm trying to have fun. But to do that, I gotta have a place to live. So hopefully you guys will continue to contribute and donate to my channel. And there's always people like, He's a beggar. He's been begging for a long time. And it's like, well, technically, you can call it weird freelance, man. Because, yeah, I've been doing this for a long time. And you guys have been amazing, awesome. And you've kept me up and running so I could do this full time. But I'm pretty sure I put out some damn good information way ahead of time. And I hope I can get back to being funny. But I'm just saying, sure, yeah. I mean, you say, get a job. I had a job. I worked as a trial technician for lawyers making anywhere between 15 to 30 bucks an hour dude I, I would make like five six grand in a month you know I gave that up to make twelve hundred dollars a month I thought it was the only option we had and I've technically been trying to convince the richest people on the planet that depopulation will never ever 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 work and that the only option we have is to come together as one earth family to meet the challenges and build a future system that will last a thousand years so, you know, but yeah, just, we're going to keep our eye on the situation because this is retrograding and that is going that way, which is very interesting. And then you got Fabio. And so, yes, the Pacific action is on fire right now. It's like their ninth tropical system or hurricane already. But that pattern will shift as we saw last year. I'm pretty sure. I mean, there's a ton of dust coming in. That's why. A lot of people are saying that they don't think this one will develop. They don't think anything will develop because you have that 6,000 miles of dust coming off the Africa Sahara. But look at it right now. You can almost see it spinning. And so I'm probably going to put, you know, 20% chance of hurricane or whatever in the title and people flip out and I'll get down thumbs. The main thing is, like I've said before, I don't want anybody in Florida, Carolinas, all up the East Coast to go to bed thinking, oh yeah, everything's fine. And then have this somehow magically intensified like a cat two or three overnight I'm not saying that's going to happen there's the nws is saying zero percent chance i'm saying it's 2018 man there's a chance you know it shit has been so weird and if you can't handle me saying that then you know this is definitely not the place for you there are other people out there who cover this stuff uh into the air uh bp you know mr bb333 j7409 suspicious observers you know, shit, I recommend watching all of them. All of us. We're a team that puts out good information consistently on weather. I don't, you know, don't want to get into politics. I try and avoid it as much as I can, but Jesus Christ, it's getting harder every day to avoid that stuff. Um, So yeah, I'm just letting you guys know. Here's our map. It's all super heat warnings. Remember, like, excessive heat heat records have been breaking like crazy 
It's like the earth is like a McDLT. And the hot side's really hot and the cool side's really cool. And then it floats around like the two sides float around like a lava lamp. So, and the models haven't been keeping up too well lately either. But I don't know what the hell this system is doing. It's just weird. So that's it. I'm letting you know this system is still freaking weird. I mean, look at this, baby. Now it's at 24. Give me a second. So yeah. No, I know I don't say thank you enough because lately I've just been stressing the hell out because it feels like the damn world is ending and I don't want to do to bring people together. I need to slow down when I talk sometimes. So my friends say to me, they're like, you need to slow down. I like, sorry. Okay. So I... I really appreciate it because I, I do love my job. Um, I love making videos. I think you can tell that. And so any contributions and donations you can make today to help me pay rent tomorrow by 5 p.m. and then have money to eat and pay bills and stuff. That would be fantastic because I got a feeling it's going to be one crazy summer. And on that note, I just put out a video called One Crazy Summer, and it's edited. I spent a couple of weeks editing it. It's pretty good, I think. There's a lot of interesting info in there. So I got a lot of, I got stressed out because I have so much footage to pull since uh, my life has been a turbulent turmoil for the last seven weeks. So I got a couple more of those to do. Anyway, so I'm just saying, I'm keeping my eye on this, but with the situation going on, all I'm saying is let's keep our eye on things. And stay aware if you're along the coasts. Okay? Is that cool? I want you to stay cool. Be cool. Be funny. And have some fun this summer. Everybody, everywhere, needs to have more fun. Okay. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out. God bless everyone.